I, I want to thank the three of you for coming this evening, and I also want to commend SCAG um, for what I perceive to be an excellent job when it comes to regional transportation planning. On the other hand, I'm of the belief that SCAG falls, falls short in the area of development and particularly the implementation of the regional housing needs assessment law. And that's not empty rhetoric. I'll give you a specific example. It's called the City of Sierra Madre. Our original housing, uh, regional housing needs assessment number was 225. And then through no action of this council or the City of Sierra Madre, SCAG determined that their growth trends numbers were wrong and adjusted it downwards to 138, which I think some cities would be appreciative. We really weren't because we're a built-out city, and since 1980 we've experienced essentially no population growth and very little, if any, growth in terms of residential housing units. We appealed that number and our appeal, and I have your decision in front of me, was essentially summarily rejected. You conceded that yes, we are a built-out city, and yes, our population has not increased, but at the same time you suggested that what we really needed to do is we needed to go back and amend our city ordinances and our general plan to provide for increased development. And that was a very sore issue for the city of Sierra Madre because that recommendation came down right after the city of Sierra Madre passed a slow growth initiative, which was Measure V. And what I don't believe you three know was during the Measure V campaign, actually a former member of SCAG's Community and Economic and Human Development Committee contacted HCD in Sacramento, Housing and Community Development, and requested that HCD write a letter to Sierra Madre threatening the city with legal sanctions if Measure B passed. Now, subsequent to the rejection of our appeal, our number was reduced even further. It's at 76 right now. But it had nothing to do with SCAG. It had everything to do with some permit applications for our senior housing being approved at the last minute. And the frustration that you're hearing in my voice regarding how the city of Sierra Madre was treated throughout the whole green allocation process, I know is frustration that other elected leaders in other cities have experienced because I got three pages of appeals and requests for revisions that came before SCAG. And my guess is most of those were rejected in the same some summary fashion that you rejected our, our request. I also know um, that there's a very powerful and influential group of elected and appointed politicians in California who have come out against the regional housing needs assessment process finding that it's, quote, cumbersome, expensive, politically difficult, and of questionable value. And I was surprised to learn that that's SCAG's leadership. This is from one of your own reports. So the, the problem I'm having with rubber stamping our annual dues to SCAG is the frustration that I feel as a, as a city councilman having to deal with with between the numbers. And then I recall, you know, very, very vividly that the SCAG regional housing needs assessment number for Sierra Madre was the argument, maybe the primary argument against our slow growth initiative. We cannot pass the slow growth initiative because we have to comply with SCAG's 138 number. Of course it, at the end of the day it wasn't 138, it was 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 76. Um, and thankfully, our slow growth initiative passed, and, and we remain a, a small town. But I'm sure the residents would would have been upset to learn, had the, the measure failed, that you know they were in effect voting against a slow growth measure based on what turned out to be an inaccurate housing needs assessment number. And given that the SCAG leadership itself thinks that the
process of, is of questionable value. I'm very uncomfortable legitimizing what SCAG does with respect to the RENA allocation, again, by approving um, or rubber stamping the payment of $1,000 or $2,000 or $3,000.